Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 amazing iPhone hidden features that you probably never knew existed. Now another really cool feature is the like button on this video. That helps out a lot, helps my channel and helps this video do much much better. So make sure you leave a like on this video. All right, starting off with the clock app. You probably have a ton of alarms on your clock app. There are two different ways to delete them. You can swipe like this to delete an alarm or you can tap right there on the edit button, but you will still have to do them one by one. But what you can do is have Siri do that for you. Just launch Siri and say, delete all my alarms. Now just tap yes right here and you're good to go. All of your alarms have been deleted with basically one command given to Siri. Another really cool thing that Siri can do for you is tell you the percentage of battery of your iPhone. It will speak that to you when you connect and disconnect your device from charge. So you go to shortcuts and you go right here to automations and what you will have to do is basically create a new automation tap on create, create personal automation, go all the way down to charger and you select both of these, tap next and tap on add action. Right here, just search for get battery. So I'll just search for get battery and you will find here, get battery level, tap right there and then tap the plus button and just add speak text. So just search here for speak. So here we have speak text, it will show up right away and then tap next disable this and tap the dumb button and now you're good to go whenever you're plugging your device to charge siri will let you know how much battery you have on your iphone and of course it will also do the same whenever you unplug your device from charging Next, we're talking about app clips. Now, you probably have heard Apple talking about app clips, but you will very rarely find an app clip. But when you do and you install an app clip, it won't show an, as an icon on the home screen of your device. But where you can find them is on the app library. If you go to app library and just go to search here, you will notice that like little square right there. If you tap there, it will take you to your app clips. So here we'll have all the app clips that you have installed on your device. As easy as that, you can find the app clips right here. And of course, it also allows you to remove them from the device from here, or you can view on the app store. Of course, you can view the app to the app clip. Now, another thing you can do is go to settings and right here, we'll also find a section dedicated to app clips. From here, we'll be able to see all of your app clips. You can remove all of them with one go from here, or you can go to each of them and basically configure them. You can get the app from here, you can remove the app clip or choose whether you want to allow that app clip to use your data or not. I have said this times and times again, App Library is by far one of my favorite features that Apple has introduced to iOS in a while. So when you go to App Library, there's a very easy way to launch any app that you're looking for. You might have seen a feature on the spotlight search. So if I search for an app here, you can see that it will show it up at the top right there and you can see the button will switch to go. So if I tap here, it will automatically open that app. Now it does the same on app library as well. You might not have known this, but if you go to app library and you search for an app, you can see now it will basically, the search button will become a go button. You tap right there and will just like that launch the first app that it shows. Now, based on the usage that you do of your apps, it will decide which app to show there first. So if you're searching with a U in this case, it will show you the app that you use the most and that starts with a U. On iOS 13 and lower, we used to have two different buttons right here at the sides of the iPhone. Now, when moving through pages, of course, you can do that like this, and you used to do it by tapping right here on the side. Now, Apple has removed that feature, and now it won't actually work, but it works if you tap right here. Just at the dots right here, just on the side of the dots, you have two different buttons that allow you to move between the pages on the home screen of your device. You can see how easy that is. You can basically move anywhere on the home screen simply by tapping here. A really cool feature that I like about the widgets on iOS 14 is the Siri suggested apps. You can see right here, I have 
two of them added and they both will show different apps. So you can see right here, we have different apps and we have two widgets. So here we have Siri suggestions at the top and at the bottom. And we have here suggestions, of course, from apps that we have used frequently and of course recently as well now you can also 3d touch on any of the app if you don't want to suggest that app so you just remove it and it won't show up anymore on these widgets but these are really cool you can add as many as you want and you will have them always updated with the apps that you actually use the most and need the most on the photos app on your iphone you have a folder that is called peoples right there your iphone will put the faces of people that it recognizes on your photos but did you know that you can also do that manually you can add people to that album so you just go to one of the pictures you swipe up like this and it will show you here faces that it recognizes basically you can do this manually or you can just add names for the people that iphone has already recognized so in this case i can just tap here and from here it will show me all these pictures that are basically with that same face tap on add name and now you can add that name to that person as easy as that you can create a name for a person right there which is really really cool now another thing you can do from here of course from a picture you just swipe up you tap on people just tap those three dots right there and you can confirm additional photos of this person you tap right there and of course you just select from the pictures that you have on your library and of course you can add this to the person to the peoples or you can just go ahead and create a memory for this person on the photos app when you're viewing a picture that you have edited before you can view the original picture really easily all you gotta do is just go to the picture tap the edit button and from here just tap on the picture and you can see it will switch to the original so if you want to disable all the editing that you have done to a picture and see the original version you just tap like this and it shows you the original it also shows you right there a tag that says original and you can see how that photo looked before you edit it on ios of course from the photos app you can crop photos you can crop videos as well but of course the process for videos will be much complicated because you have a still photo you crop it and that's not a problem but on video when the video moves on you might crop like a part that you don't want to but what you can do is tap on edit and when you go to crop if you just tap on the video right here it will show you this slider so if i crop this video like this then this slider will let me know by just moving through it if i have cropped any part of the video that i don't want to so just swipe like this and you can see the whole video here and see if you have done any cropping unintentionally of course it will crop any important parts of the video if you want to use the iMessage app to send photos to someone, you will find some really cool hidden filters within the iMessage app. You will also be able, of course, to then save those locally if you want to save them to the camera roll of your device. So you basically tap the camera icon and you will find this little flower right here. Tap on it. And once you have tapped on it, it will show you this interface right here. You will find that little button with the color. So you tap right there and you will see some really amazing filters that you cannot actually find on the camera app of your iOS device. So you can see those vintage looks really, really cool. You cannot find these on the camera app. These look actually really awesome. It also has the mono the silver tone the nor and all that that you find on the camera app but it also has these ones that are actually really really cool you can see how good this looks and just like that you can take some actually some really amazing pictures you swipe up and you will see all the different filters that you can use from the iMessage app when you want to install an app from the app store of course you launch app store and you have to go to the search section and type the name of the app right there but you can do that much much easier using siri all you got to do is just launch siri find netflix okay. Searching for netflix on the app store. and just like that it will take you right to that page of course search for that app that you want to install just like that you can search for any app really quickly using siri now another cool thing siri can do is calculate any tip you want now you don't have to calculate using the calculator app or any third party app just use siri for that so just say how much should i tip for fifty dollars a ten percent tip is five dollars 
and you can see here it shows you different amounts and of course it will calculate how much you have to tip and it will also show you the total right there. It doesn't get much easier than that. Siri will also let you find any devices that you have lost, of course your devices. So what we can do here is just ask Siri for any device and it will show them on the Find My app. So I don't actually have my iPad right now, but it will find it, just ask for a device. Where is my iPad? And just like that, it will give you the option to actually play a sound on the device, even though it might not be close to you, it will play a sound on the device and that way let you very quickly find your device. On the Maps app on iOS 14, if you don't have your location services turned on, it will show you right there that the location services is off. Now you don't have to get out of the app and go to the settings and find location services. All you have to do is just tap right there and it gives you the option to go ahead and turn on location services. You can see it will take you right to the location services settings all you gotta do is just turn them on like this. Very easy and of course much much convenient than going through the settings and finding location services. And last but not least, we're moving to the Files app. If you have any image and you need to convert it into a PDF file, you don't actually need to install any third party app. You can do that from here. All you gotta do is just tweak the touch on any image and it gives you the option here to create PDF. Just like that, you will have a PDF created out of that image. Here it is, it has been created and of course now you can use that anywhere, email it or do markup or do anything you want with that file. So that is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed these features and of course hopefully you learned something new today. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next one.